Welcome to the 47th Annual Art Rooney Awards Dinner and Auction. The Chief and his legendary Pittsburgh friends started it all. Our family's been involved since the beginning. My grandfather was, was instrumental in starting the dinner, and great to see that it's uh, been going on for so long, and we're, we're proud to be part of it. Honoring those in the Pittsburgh region who've given back, who've served their neighbors, who've made our great city the best in the world. And I want to thank the Art Rooney Dinner Committee for the nomination. I humbly stand before you, not feeling worthy of such an honor. A large prestigious event every year attended by some 600 guests to benefit CYA, the Catholic Youth Association in Lawrenceville. And thank you to the Catholic Youth Association and the planning team for finding creative ways to ensure this tradition could continue despite a pandemic. It's great to be celebrating CYA and all that, all that you do. Check this out, no pandemic was gonna stop us. We got the trophies, we have the Steeler jerseys, all the auction items. And with that, I bid you hello. I'm Michael Bartley and I'm a proud member of the board of directors of CYA. We're an organization where staff and volunteers care for the elderly the vulnerable in our community with Meals on Wheels and senior services as well as children's services and so much more. And as you know, the Art Rooney Awards Dinner and Auction is our biggest fundraiser of the year. And like so many other nonprofits, we had to cancel our dinner this year because of the pandemic. But we decided our honorees, our auction, our fundraising are all too important to cancel altogether. So we're going to do it this way. We hope we are back in the ballroom all together next year to celebrate in person, but for now, we're not going to allow COVID-19 to make our 47th annual awards ceremony just disappear, no way. So, you see some of these items near me? They are just a few items you can bid on in our online auction. Our auction has something for everyone. Visit bidpal.net slash CYA and start bidding. We have sports items, golf packages, spa certificates, hotel stays, kids baskets, and so much more. Again, visit www.bidpal.net slash CYA. We are sure you'll find something you'll love. How about these items? A signed Villanueva jersey, a signed Terry Bradshaw jersey, a signed Juju Smith-Schuster football, a signed T.J. Watt football, an autographed Mario Lemieux mini stick and puck with signed photo, dinner with Bob Pompiani at the Carlton, dinner with Sally Wigan, $500 Sarah's chocolate basket, the big wine basket, the lucky lotto tree, $100 value, a day at the spa, beautiful jewelry, and so much more. And we will keep that online auction dress up for you at the bottom of the screen. But now, let's get to our first award, the Patricia R. Rooney Award. And it goes to a generous international leader in medicine, someone very close to CYA. I was born and raised in Lawrenceville. And my brother and sister and I always say it was the greatest place to grow up. And she never left Lawrenceville. She's now a world-renowned pediatric oncologist, researcher, professor at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. And she does one of the hardest jobs in Pittsburgh. She helps children who have cancer. To top all that off, Dr. G thanks us for what we do when she is a premier doctor, researcher. She's one of those people that makes UPMC, Children's Hospital, one of the finest in the country. The Patricia R. Rooney Award honors a woman who's given back to make our region a better place to live. Who better than Dr. Jean Terzak, credited with not just saving countless lives of children battling cancer, but investing in their lives and becoming a friend. I definitely do credit Dr. Terzak for saving my life. Summer Smith was diagnosed with kidney cancer at age five. She believes she wouldn't be here without the life-saving skills and empathy of Dr. Terzak. I really do think it's about time you guys honor her because when I had found out about this, my grandma told me about this, I was like, I have almost 100% sure 
that she had already won an award, but I can't believe that you guys waited this long. Too long, because Dr. Jean Terzak doesn't just work and live and serve Lawrenceville and Pittsburgh. She's on our own CYA Board of Directors, a place her grandmother used to take her, a place she loves to this day. And her profound humility makes her the only person surprised by this honor. I was really speechless and really, I still am. And, you know, thinking of the name Patricia Rooney itself, Patricia Rooney has done such amazing things in the Pittsburgh area. Really, their family has impacted not only the region, but the world. Again, I'm just overwhelmed by receiving the award. And I do think my, my whole life and beginning was in Lawrenceville and the values that surrounded me and created the person who I became and the things that are important to me. And I, I trace all of that back to my family and the environment and the people that surrounded me. well-deserved honor, Dr. Terzak. Congratulations. And now, please welcome the CEO of CYA, Marianne Henarati. Thanks, Michael. And I'm so glad we decided to do this. Waiting a whole year to go by just isn't us. Congratulations to all of the honorees. We thank our dedicated staff, our dinner committee, and our board of directors, too. And of course, our presenting sponsors, PNC, UPMC, UPMC Health Plan, and 84 Lumber. A whole list of our sponsors can be found at artrooneyaward.com. Now, as you know, the pandemic has hit nonprofits so hard. We are no exception, and without our Rooney dinner, our fundraising goal is falling way short. But we are confident that your generosity will get us there. Don't forget our online auction. And if you want to be quick in making a donation to CYA, just text CYA2020 to the number 243725 to make a donation. It's quick and simple, and it helps us continue our mission of serving all of our populations from every age, including childcare, Meals on Wheels, senior services, and more. And we could never do what we do without so many dedicated to our mission, including our Nick Cardello awardee, Loretta Thomas from the West Deer Senior Center. I want to thank you very much for this award. I've been here like 13 years now, and it's been very rewarding, but we have a lot of volunteers that make the Senior Center a, a uh, success. Thank you, Loretta. And I once again want to call your attention as our major sponsors are being thanked on the screen. On to our next award, the John McGrady Award. Named after our early board president, this award goes to a person who's made inspiring and lasting contributions to our region. And we're proud that it goes to the Tree of Life Rabbi, Jeffrey Myers, who in the face of tragedy and heartbreak, after the mass shootings at Tree of Life, Rabbi Myers stood tall, inspiring us, bringing us together. We're privileged to give the John McGrady Award to you, Rabbi Jeffrey Myers. The late John E. McGrady set the bar high for civic leadership. He was instrumental in the creation of the Allegheny County Port Authority, the construction of Three River, River Stadium, and the development of the Community College of Allegheny, just to name a few things. But his leadership went beyond civic duties and involvement in the political sphere. He was grounded in his faith, highly involved in the Catholic Youth Association, where his family has remained involved for over 40 years. This award is designated to honor someone for outstanding service to the community. I humbly stand before you, not feeling worthy of such an honor. The massacre in my synagogue, the Tree of Life, 
on October 27, 2018, came with a message, you must do better. It has spurred me on to decry all forms of age speech and to recognize that despite living in Fred Rogers' neighborhood, we do not know our neighbors. I am committed to doing something about this with Pittsburgh as my laboratory. It must start with a recognition that we cannot just think that all people are created equal. It must course through our veins, demanding from us that we do all that we can so that one day folks from around the country will take a look at a transformed Pittsburgh and breathlessly say, wow, how did you do that? Until that day comes, my work has barely begun. I most humbly accept this award as a tangible reminder that I have much to do. I thank you and invite you to join me on the journey to make my dreams possible. Thank you, Rabbi Myers. Our next award is named for Pittsburgh's most legendary TV anchorman, Bill Burns. This award honors excellence in broadcasting and those who've made a positive difference in our community on and off the air. We're pleased indeed that the 2020 Bill Burns Award goes to the broadcasting dynamic duo during Steelers games, Tunj Elkin and Craig Wolfley. Two men who themselves had celebrated athletic careers and these days shine with talent and engage Steelers fans every Sunday. We congratulate Tunch and Wolf. Tunch and Wolf here, and we just want to thank you for the Bill Burns Broadcasting Award. It is such an honor to be uh, honored uh, this way. No question about it. Think about it years ago, which we came to town, it was Bill Burns, then it was Patty Burns, and then right. there's a whole host of honorees, and we are so greatly humbled. Yes. And we want to thank the Art Rooney Dinner Host Committee for nominating and giving it to us. Yeah, you know, and it, it was such a pleasure uh, to play 13 years for the Pittsburgh Steelers, to play under the Chief, Art right. Rooney, uh, the Ambassador, Mr. Dan Rooney, and uh, Art Rooney II. And, you know, that is such a humble family. And, it, you know, we learned so many lessons from their uh, philosophy. Well, it's a family that just covers everything. You know, yeah. when you think of Steelers, you think of the Rooney family first. And yeah. uh, we thank you and for letting us be a very small part of a great, great organization. And we most humbly we say thank you for this award. Yeah, On behalf and, of Chalooch over here. And faith, family, and football. God bless you guys. Thanks so much, guys. We're glad to honor both of you. Our next award is named for a sports broadcasting legend like no other, Bob Prince, the gunner who excited Pirates fans for decades. And the Prince Award goes to a young man who served his country with distinction and who Steeler fans revere for his service on and off the field. To bestow the Bob Prince Award upon Pittsburgh Steeler Alejandro Villanueva, Please welcome the president of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Art Rooney II. Al is just an outstanding person. Obviously, we're proud of uh, everything he's done and uh, his service to our country, uh, his continuing service to our community. Uh, obviously, his service to our football team has meant a lot to us. So uh, we're just very, very proud of Al. We're proud of uh, having him on our team and uh, really happy that he's part of the dinner this evening. Hello everyone, my name is Alejandro Villanueva, also known in the city of Pittsburgh as Big Al, and I want to thank the Art Rooney Dinner Committee for the nomination and the Bob Prince Award. The entire Pittsburgh Steelers organization for letting me work and live here over the past six years, and obviously to the city of Pittsburgh and the Western Pennsylvania region. Over the past 31 years of my life, I've lived in 16 different cities in four different countries and today I'm proud to call Pittsburgh home. And even more proud that all my kids will be able to say that they're from the city of Pittsburgh. In my time here, I have learned to love the game after seeing how much it means to the community and the unity that it brings. I hope that for that, we're able to have a chance to play in the big game and honor the city in a national stage. And finally, I wanna thank the Rooney family, all my coaches and teammates, and obviously, I want to thank Coach Tomlin for obviously everything that I've learned from him 
including the excessive use of the word obviously. May God bless you all in the United States of America. Go Pittsburgh Steelers, and obviously, Rangers lead the way. Our final award is the big one, the Art Rooney Award. And it goes to a community leader who not only has showed corporate and community leadership, but has also impacted life for the better here in our region. And this year, the choice is just great. We're privileged to honor newly retired CEO of Covestro, Jerry McCleary. McCleary is known as a corporate titan, but he's also a leader and implemented unprecedented diversity and urged other corporate leaders to do the same. To present this honor and introduce Mr. McCleary, here's Art Rooney. Hello again. I'm uh, proud to be able to uh, present and introduce Jerry McCleary for the Art Rooney Award uh, this year. And uh, you know, Jerry has been a uh, outstanding leader in our community. Uh, I've had the, the privilege and the pleasure of serving uh, with him on several boards, including the United Way and other community activities. And uh, you know, he's he's always there uh, when you need somebody to step up and provide some leadership. Uh, for a community need and, and so uh, really excited that he's uh, willing to accept this award tonight and uh, uh, honored to, to be able to present uh, the Art Rooney Award this year to Jerry. Thank you to Art Rooney and the entire Rooney family and thank you to the Catholic Youth Association and the planning team for finding creative ways to ensure this tradition could continue despite a pandemic. I'm grateful to be part of an event that helps to fund such important work for our community. To other honorees, congratulations. It's truly an honor to be in the company of such distinguished individuals who have contributed so much to this region. I am both honored and humbled to receive the Art Rooney Award. This award and what it represents has become even more meaningful to me at a time when our nation and our community is experiencing so much division, unrest, and injustice. My own passion for diversity and inclusion is deeply intertwined with my passion for Pittsburgh and the people. And I feel incredibly fortunate to have worked with individuals and organizations that are leading the way in creating a more diverse, inclusive, equitable region. From the employees and leadership at Covestro, to organizations like the Advanced Leadership Initiative, the African American Directors Forum, Imani Christian Academy, United Way, Variety of the Children's Charity, and the countless others that are making a difference every day. This award reflects their achievements as much as mine. You know, we come a long way, but it's clear that there's still more work to be done, more voices to be heard, and more opportunities to be created. So I will humbly and graciously accept this recognition, not as a symbol of what I have accomplished, but as a reminder of what we all can and will accomplish by working together. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry, and thanks to all of you for your generosity in supporting CYA. One last reminder, go to our auction page to bid, bidpal.net slash CYA. Or for a direct contribution, don't forget, text CYA2020 to this number, 243-725. 243725. Thanks again for watching the 2020 47th Annual Art Rooney Awards Dinner and Auction. Congratulations to all of our honorees, and here's to hoping we get back together in person next year. But until then, thanks. <laughs>